Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a beautiful Ferrari F430 Spider with Daytona seats. Today, we're gonna give you guys a comprehensive walk around and then we're gonna take it for a test drive to let you decide if you wanna put this in your garage. Let's do it. Let's start off with the overall condition. I would rate this one an eight out of 10. That's an 80% out of 100. The reason for that rating, it has 40,000 plus miles on it and there is minor wear. Front fascia has been resprayed, and that's common because you want to get rid of the rock chips. It's never had any plastic on the front. Rear bumper has been resprayed. Engine bay is very nice, and there's just minor wear on the Daytona seats. That's why I give it that rating. Underside's nice, so if you want to see underside shots, click on the link below. It's missing the cover panel for the oil filter, and we just tell you these things because we want to be honest, so you know exactly what you're getting. Tires are from 2022 in the front. The rears are 2018, plenty of tread. Wheels have minor wear. So when I'm looking at the wheels on this side, they show very well, just minor imperfections from mounting. Uh, also the caps are starting to show their age. They're not bright yellow. You do have the Scuderia shield right here and the dash shows well, just minor lifting near the plastics and near the actual bolster center for the driver or the passenger side. Let's go ahead and show you the rear. You can pop that hood, show you the passenger side jump inside it and then take it for a test drive. The rear end is beautiful with the quad taillight design. One thing I always like to do for any sort of 430 is do the wiggle test to make sure they're not loose. That's a very common issue. I'd say that half of the cars that we get will have a loose taillight. These are solid. Rear bumper is very nice, no scratches. It does have an aftermarket carbon fiber diffuser, which is very nice. And if you wanna see underside shots, click on the link below. Opening up the engine hatch, it's very clean. Your wrinkle shows very well. Air boxes are nice. Uh, it does have aftermarket 2B manifolds, which sound unbelievable, and we'll show you that later on in the video. All of your aluminum pieces are very clean. You still have your catalyst sticker in place. A Little bit of wear just on the latch here, which is common. Um, engine bay looks nice. Your valve covers look nice. One good thing about this one is it has 33% wear on the actual uh, clutch pack so you have plenty of life left. We do have service records for this one, so we'll give you guys all the service records. It does have a clean Carfax as well, so we'll have that in the gallery below. This is just a nice piece, and when you hear it run down the road and you get to go up into the higher RPM range, thumbs up, double thumbs up. Very cool. Let's keep spinning it. Passenger side is the same condition as the driver's side. There's no dents or dings. All of your door edges are very nice when you open it up. It shows very well all the rubber is in place. When you close it, it closes nicely. Windows all operate. Rear quarter is very nice. Uh, the convertible top works as it should. Does have minor wear, which we'll showcase in the gallery. All of your side sills are very nice, and you do have the Scuderia shield. Minor rock chips just on the mirrors here, but that's to be had for the mileage. This has a lot of service records, so if you guys are looking for something that has basically everything done and it's ready to drive, this is it. I know you guys are looking at my outfit right now as I stand next to this essentially supercar. But it was super hot here. We did a boat test for a boat that we're putting on, bring a trailer, and I destroyed that outfit because it's 110 degrees here in Florida. So you get what you get, but enjoy the video. Front end is very nice. You have your Ferrari shield right here. Front hood shows very well, just three or four minor touch-ups right here. Front bumper is tucked in properly. All of the black is proper. Your grills are in good shape, and this does have the scrape guards underneath, so if you hit a parking curb, you're not gonna damage the paint. I love how they have the uh, radiator reflection right here. Um, just a really, really nice piece. Let's jump inside it. Taking a look at the interior, I'm gonna start off with the driver's side door panel. Very nice, just minor wear on the grab. There's nothing sticky, there's no black on my fingers. You have your release here with your, bad, with your uh, VIN number. All of the rubbers look very good around the panels. Your map pocket is very clean. Uh, the, the actual felt right here just has minor wear, but it shows very well. Carpet is very nice, and you have two sets of mats. So you have the original mats under there, and then an additional mat on top. Your pedal box is very nice. Your steering wheel looks great. Uh, you have your engine start button and your controls here for your, uh, for your modes, rain mode, your sport mode, and race mode. And you can also turn off your traction control. Air conditioning vents are nice and tight, no stickiness. Uh, over here, there's no stickiness as well. When I get inside, I'm looking at the seat bolsters, just minor wear, and these are very common to have because of the mileage, but it shows really well, and I love the design of the center sections. 
when you get inside, it's nice and clean. Steering wheel shows well. You have your paddles here for your F1. You do have an updated infotainment system. So this is going to be an Alpine head unit that has Bluetooth capability, Apple CarPlay, the whole, the whole shebang. You do have updated speakers here as well, Rockford Fosgate, and a nice little amp in the back, and it's done very well. You also have a charging port here, so you can keep it on a tender. Uh, you, your key is right here. Ashtray has a little bit of wear on it, but it's not bad. And then you have your controls for the power top, which we'll show you later on. Dash has a little bit of lifting and shrinkage around the carbon fiber panel here, and then also on this little bolster area or this little bump. All right, we're opening up the glove box. You take the key out. You're missing your flashlight. You do have a USB control for your stereo. Nice and clean. Uh, the original Becker, in case you had the factory radio, which we don't have, unfortunately. And then your shield, so you have carbon fiber on both sides. Very nice and it sounds unbelievable. We'll start it up later on in the video and we'll show you the top. Passenger side seat, looks like no one ever sat in it. Uh, door card's very nice as well. This is a very nice example that you can enjoy and drive. I like it. Before we go for a test drive, I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoy this content, please be sure to click like and subscribe below. Also, if you wanna support us, you can click on that link down there and it has our full merchandise. So we have our movie metal tee along with a host of other additional items. So let's go for a test drive, or I can run over the cameraman that's right in front of me. We're taking the 430 out for a test drive. Lights operate, turn signals work, AC is ice cold. You do have an aftermarket Alpine stereo with a subwoofer in the front, upgraded components as well. It sounds great. Daytona seats are very comfortable. No check engine lights. Center section's very nice. E-brake does hold properly. Steering wheel's in nice condition. The uh, wet condition uh, little toggle or sticker here is indented. Otherwise, it's good. We're gonna jump on a Marina Mile, get you guys some beautiful shots. Once again, if you have any questions about this ride, you can give us a call at 954-363-2261. Oh. Let's take it out auto. We don't need auto where we're going. Let's go into second. Third gear, no issues, shifting nicely. Steering feels good, suspension feels tight. Brakes are even, horn works. Downshifts are doing what they're supposed to do. It's nice because the AC is blowing cold and the top is down. Convertible top works as it should. I love these cars. So before I opened up the dealership, I helped run a 430 challenge team then we went to 458 and then during that time i transitioned into the actual dealership that you're looking at today which is full of motorsports we've sold over 3,000 niche market cars all on the internet but let's get back to this one all of my gauges are working as they should shifting through all the gears properly turn here and I'll do some acceleration for you. You can see what it'll really do. Small displacement V8, high revving, F1 style paddle shifters. Good clutch wear. We have the clutch wear in there so it has 33% worn. So there's plenty of life left. We have receipts for this one so if you want to uh, look at those just click on the link below. Let the camera car get up there a little bit. Oh yeah. That is exhilarating. Shifts like gunfire. What more could you ask for? Let's go take a right here. We're 
gonna take a right here. We're gonna go over our signature bump so you can see how the suspension reacts. I'll put it back into sport mode as we do that. Oh, it shifts nice. Put the lights on for this. Here come the big dip. No issues at all. We're in second gear. I can shift it into third. If you guys enjoy this content, please be sure to click like and subscribe below. I'm out of here.